Practice one. In the second half of the 19th century, Europe turned its eyes toward Africa. Colonial expansion in Africa is one example. China was another of European imperialism in the 19th century. These European imperialists needed colonies for trade and raw materials for their new factories built during the Industrial Revolution. They also needed new markets in which to sell their manufactured goods. Their crowded populations needed new territory to overflow into. Africa, with its untouched mineral and agricultural resources, presented a valuable source of materials, offered opportunities for new markets, and provided new frontiers for adventurous colonists. Practice two. Children in traditional African societies are constantly surrounded by instrumental music, song, and dance. Their musical training is a lifelong process that begins at birth with cradle songs and prepares them for participation in all aspects of adult life. On the backs of their relatives, they experience the rhythms associated with work, at festivals and other social events. Their relatives dance with them on their backs until they are old enough to join the activities for themselves. Rhythmical facility is built into their everyday lives, so that, for example, the children experience the sounding of three beats against two beats, and are thereby aided in the development of a two-dimensional attitude to rhythm. Children are encouraged to begin tapping out rhythms as soon as an adequate degree of arm control is developed. And at the age of three or four, they begin making their own instruments. <laughs> Practice three. When you are creating your presentation, always ask yourself how technical you really need to be. An oral presentation is not going to be as effective or efficient as a written report in conveying technical facts. So, if you want to convey raw data or lots of detailed information. Consider pushing that material out of your presentation and into a handout or a document you can email out to your audience. Alternatively, offer to meet personally afterwards with those who are interested in the important details. Use your presentation to draw out the key conclusions or take-home messages, and invite the audience to find the extra detail elsewhere. <laughs> Practice four. Perhaps the most widespread stress from technology that most people experience is the perpetual distraction of email and the replacement of face-to-face -face conversation with digital communications. In one of a series of articles in 2010 for the New York Times, technology investigative reporter Matt Richel noted that people check email up to 37 times an hour on average. Furthermore, some people feel an urge to respond to emails immediately and feel guilty if they don't. How many emails can push one over the edge, past the threshold of exhaustion? According to a Harris Interactive poll, respondents said that more than 50 emails per day cause stress. Many using the phrase "email stress" to explain their frustrations. <laughs>